corporate AI, where artificial intelligence meets natural stupidity. It's uh, it's becoming a trend where corporations are putting more and more AI in their ads and pretty much phoning it in. Now, to, just to make it clear, I'm not against AI because, well, I'm within that field, uh, computer science and programming and all that jazz. So I'm not completely against it in that circumstance of like, you know, elevating new human technologies. But when it comes to art and considering I have artist friends, yeah, that's where it gets uh, a no-no territory, <laughs> specifically for corporations because, well, they can afford animators artists, people who could actually make their content. They don't need to go up to ChatGPT or Midjourney or Sora AI and just spit something out in five minutes. Like this Coca-Cola ad, which I'm pretty sure everyone has seen so far. The only thing that was probably human added was this little logo that was being put in. If you go through each of the screenshots, yeah, um, it has that uncanny valley feel. Like AI video tends to have this kind of filter they haven't really learned to get past. It, it's so soulless. And I guess that represents corporations in a nutshell. They finally found something to match what goes on side, inside their heads. They really could have just hired animator or something. They're a multi-billion dollar corporation. They could have done that, but they chose not to. Instead, they just did this and it's, there's a tree on someone's goddamn roof. Next commercial I'm about to show you is from last year's Coca-Cola's Christmas commercial. And just watch how much soul is in that one. Right from the get-go, you notice something? The music is actually sung with such bravado, such emotion. Compared to the AI one, that was just generated in like 10 seconds and pretty standard like corporate little tunes and whatnot. From the first like 10, 20 seconds, you could tell what the message is as it's progressing. It, it, it brings you in basically. It reels you in and you feel connected. Over here with the AI, it's just spamming whatever like prompt the intern was putting in. And there you go, a bear with Coca-Cola watching man with coca-cola it, 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 it's it's nothing it really isn't but it, let's continue watching and although my curls may be showing i'll make sure they only see me from the back <laughs> yes anyone can be santa a tantalizing remark though his boots are not my size with a twinkle ai cannot replicate that in no way, shape, or form can it ever replicate that because that had direction, emotion, and a clear-cut message from beginning to end. For getting Coca-Cola, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've been seeing a chain of many corporations doing it. So you could tell where, where we're shifting now. And it's very alarming because corporations, they don't really get a nice rap because they seem to be out of touch with the common person. And now they're going to be even more out of touch when they get rid of the only thing that was helping them. Common workers, artists, animators who are common people. They understand. They build the bridge between you corporations and the common person. That way, though your product gets sold. You cut them out and you put an AI in who is just an extension of whatever prompt you're giving them. You're out of touch. The AI will give you something out of touch. And yeah, you're not going to really connect with your people now, are you? Starting it up, this one I saw by NASA, which is supposed to be a nice Christmas looking ad, but it just... Looks a bit weird. Are you entertained yet? It's just two minutes of this. Two minutes of this on their tweet or whatever. I saw it on, I saw it on Twitter, so I don't know if they're actually running this as an ad. I hope not. Oh, never mind. I, it's not a Twitter 20-second ad, nor is it some 30-second ad. It's an eight-hour 
4K on NASA's official YouTube channel with the comments locked off, of course. So that's that's always fun. Uh, big corporations will do anything not to pay real human beings a cent, huh? Moving on, I want to first give credit to KGVA. Their Twitter thread was uh, collecting all the corporations that have made these AI ads and going through it is uh, a journey starting with Pringles. Pringles made a little advertisement on YouTube and people noticed something pretty weird about the little five second ad. Making an original entrance. So yeah, uh, peep the potatoes in the back and the background of, and just everything in general, the coloring, the shading, it, it gives off the AI-ness, so. Yeah, I, what I don't get is they got an actual person in the Pringles suit. That's an actual person. So if you're gonna go there, and it's only like 12 seconds of an ad, why not just go all the way, rent a road, put some giant potatoes in the background, that's it, you got your ad. You did not need to use this weird funky looking background, which made me think of like some sort of fake Pringles ad. I, I thought it was a bootleg thing. I didn't think it was actually Pringles. This was an ad from the 2000 I saw recently recommended to me and it seems pretty bizarre, but still pretty better than what we got. <laughs> Weird, yes, it's got that 90s weird thing going on, um, but I still prefer that over what we got with the AI stuff. There, there, there's just something, a huge difference, you know? It really is night and day. There's also the Honda ad where it looks like the driver is uh, had taken some PCP or some sort of <laughs> LSD or something while they're driving, because peep that back. the Honda of your dreams during Happy Honda Days where you'll find great offers on a rugged new passport, pilot with available all-wheel drive, and the powerful Ridgeline. So don't wait, turn your holiday dreams into reality. There's something pretty ironic of an AI ad telling you you could turn your dreams into reality, huh? But that's the timeline we're living in. First corporate ad I ever saw. This was in the very early stages when they were trying something with it. Um, I feel like they oversh overshot themselves, got overexcited. <gasps> we don't have to pay animators. Let's get into this. And boy, does it show. Cause this was from Rent-A-Center and it was the worst ad I've ever seen in my life. That they, you, I saw it on TV. Get all the feels all the time because now you can get something amazing when you're ready for a change. Introducing Rack Exchange. Update, upgrade. Clearly, Rent-A-Center couldn't rent an artist or an animator, uh, and it shows. It's, um, it's really embarrassing. This, this was the first one. This was the first one I ever saw, and it was in the early days. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Was there no one inside that office that looked at this and said, yeah, I don't think this is gonna fly. I don't think this is gonna make our customers break down our doors and try and buy our products. This craveable creation is a true taste masterpiece. Each bite is like a delicious brushstroke of genius. Order today while quantities last. Yeah, if Van Gogh was still alive, he would cut his other ear. No joke, there's just, there's something very morbid and kind of creepy of using some dead dude for your AI ad. Like, imagine explaining that to some medieval peasant from a thousand years ago. Thing is, with YouTube, it's even gotten worse. I've gotten ads for the weirdest videos and weirdest AI ads. And what I'm talking about is like those cute little heartwarming wholesome stories about animals like some tiger gets adopted or a deer the one i saw recently was about some uh, falcon making a nest in a balcony just just look at it and tell me what's weird about it a girl discovered that a peculiar bird had turned her sunny balcony into a nest even laying a clutch of eggs there noticing how hard the bird mom was working she began feeding it meat the little bird was well behaved 
never making a mess on the balcony. Thankfully, the comments spot it right away. But yeah, um, this woman seems to shape shift, change balconies. The the falcons are different as well, pattern wise. It's it's a very heart, wholesome, heartwarming story. Uh, but sadly, it is everywhere. I'm seeing a lot more of these kind of little shorts, and it's getting on my goddamn nerves. But that's just how it is. If corporations are doing it, the ones on top, then you start seeing the little middle managers, the little bot accounts and stuff. These little little people are going to start doing it as well. So that, that that's real fun. That And it gets worse, much worse, because the next one is so, so horrible that I really had to pause the ad and really rethink my life. Let's find the acceleration of a Lunchly box on a 30 degree ramp, ignoring friction. It's the Lunchly's weight that pulls it down, right? Damn right it does. But since we're on a 30 degree incline, only a component of that force actually pulls the Lunchly down the ramp. And the other component will push into the ramp. Whoa, 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 how did you get that sign and cost stuff from W? Oh, you gotta give it, that's so good too. Intrigue on that thing. <laughs> We're never reaching the stars. That one was a hard watch. Every time. Every time I feel like a part of me dies watching that one. Now, to give it some credit, uh, th there is one real person in that. You saw that, right? It's not the two uh, internet celebrities. It is the one dude with the beanie, and he's the real person who made this. Now, I just want to say, the good thing is this revolutionary idea to use brain rot to educate people. But the problem is that I am so perplexed, if that's the word I could use. Big word, I know, I just learned it. Um, I'm just perplexed at what I'm watching uh, to actually think about what the lesson is. It's just taking a video of these celebrities who are not actually saying this, animating their mouse, again, maybe with AI, without it. I've seen ones where like Elon Musk is trying to sell me some sort of um, insurance or a Bitcoin, and you could clearly tell it's AI, but for, for your old timers that are out there, they're gonna believe it. Especially one where it was like Joe Rogan talking about America doesn't want you to see this and whatnot, and like he's going on in these conspiracy things, which you would think it, it's him because he does go on these rants and whatnot, but this one you could clearly tell it's AI and it's dangerous because it's feeding some horrible, like misinformation stuff i've seen from the government this year and i can't believe people haven't even noticed it the government was supposed to i've gotten that ad myself and youtube seems to not care that uh there's literal scams being thrown even joe rogan talked about it on his podcast how his voice and face is being deep faked for these ads yeah um that is where we're starting to get to a dangerous territory because Maybe you and I, younger generations, won't fall for these kind of tricks, but the older generation definitely will. Uh, it's uh, Every time I talk about AI, it's always like doom and gloom. I, Being in the field, I've seen the good AI can do. This is just, uh, I want to believe it's just a small bad part. But it's, it's a bad part that can grow into something even worse if left unchecked. AI shouldn't uh, <laughs> take over the entire thing because it needs guidance. It, it still needs a person to help guide it, you know? I, 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 I'm done. I'm clocking out. But yeah, that's all there is.